Hi guys, I'm a forester here. I want to take a break from my marine series of videos to get back to knives, this group of knives in particular. I don't think I'll be buying another knife between now and the end of the year, so these are my knife additions in 2015. My collection grew by eight, as you can see. Six were purchased, and these two were gifts. As you can tell, I started out the year with smaller knives, but my purchases were of larger and larger knives as the year went on. Now the first knife of the year was a gift from Jim at the Nicest Knives channel. This is a Portuguese knife and the name of the company is right there on the handle, M-A-M. Now this knife had special meaning to me. Not only was it a gift from a friend online, but I was working to recruit a Portuguese company to South Carolina when this knife arrived. Their announcement was made this past spring and their factory is being built as I speak. In fact, this coffee mug came from that company and their name is Colombo Energy. They're located in Greenwood, South Carolina. Now this beautiful blue Spyderco Sage 3 came in the spring and this rounds out my Sage collection. I actually have five different Sages. Some people might think there's only four, but there's five. This one was discontinued and I waited too long to purchase it, but one of my subscribers, Randall Kelly, came to my rescue and sold me one of his Sage 3's. I think he said he had two of them. I think this blue G10 version is much more attractive than the black carbon fiber version. Now the third knife of the year was a giveaway ad knife and I've done videos of all of these knives on the table so you can find more detail if you go to my website and look at my channel videos. Using knives as advertisements is a unique idea, but in retrospect, I don't think I'd have picked this knife up from the counter. The quality, quality of the knife is pretty poor and it just takes up my limited storage space. If anybody wants this knife right here, just holler and I'll try to send it to you. The fourth knife of the year was this Benchmade Triage. And I'll try to give you a close-up look at each one of these. This is the second Benchmade triage that I've purchased, but the first one was for a gift. I always wanted one, and so I finally decided to go ahead and buy it here in 2015. But I have to say that this is one of the least carried knives that I own. It rides in my pickup truck in the console, ready for action if needed. I did need it once this year, but I wasn't driving my truck, so that's just the way that works. Okay, the fifth knife of the year is this ZT0801, and it really surprised me that this knife is in this list of knives purchased in uh, 2015 because it seems to me like I've had it for much longer. It's one of the most carried knives in my collection, and it's a knife that I can safely recommend to anybody watching this video. This is a fantastic titanium folder, and just for comparison, this blade length is around three and a half inches. Now a big purchase for me was this Strider SMF, and this is in a forest green G10. It looks black on the screen, but that is forest green. This was a big purchase for me. It was one of my grail knives, one of three grail knives. Look forward to purchasing it for a long time, and I do want to say, for some reason, I don't hesitate to carry this knife, and it doesn't get babied at all, even though it is a grail knife. Now in September, I made an unexpected purchase, and this is the Benchmade 761. I purchased this from another YouTuber named DeFarnicus, and um, I watch a lot of his videos. I really enjoy it, but he puts some knives up for sale from time to time, and this one really struck my fancy. I think it has great lines, and because it's a used knife, I love to carry it. I don't worry about scratching it. Now my final purchase of the year was my biggest knife purchase of all, this Hinderer XM24, and that's in a buoy blade. Love this knife. This is another grail knife, and it's one of three grail knives that I've had. Two of them I purchased this year. It was the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza that I've had for a while, then the Strider, and then the XM24 Hinderer. My interests have been primarily on larger size knives for the past year or two. I think I'm going to downsize in 2016 to small or medium sized gentleman folders. 
For those of you who have stuck with me as I've reviewed these larger tactical folders, thank you and stay tuned for some videos more to your liking. Y'all take care.